I'm Logan Woods. Oh, sweet, jeez. And this is Roadkill. Welcome to the fourth episode of Logan Ricks' Road Kills. I'm your humble yet handsome host, Logan Ricks. I am joined <laughs> with... What was that? Hmm? What? No. Nah. This is my uh, good friend and sometimes arch nemesis. Oh, wrestling. <laughs> Shane Saunders, Sanders, however you want to pronounce it. Or Shane Dan- Or Danders, depending on who you're talking to. Danders or... Yeah. I mean, what, was it always Shane Sanders or what was the blue hair gimmick thing? Uh, Michael Emrys. Michael Emrys. <laughs> Oh, I want to put a blue streak in my hair. Blue Mini already did it. Uh, so, um, I'm like one third the weight. <laughs> well, wait, are you talking about Blue Mini or Blue Guy? Because remember, he dropped all that weight once when he was dating Jasmine St. Clair. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was like all skinny. I was like, no, nah, it's not right. Could he fly? No. With the flaps? <laughs> he just, he goes through his mood song and just. It's like a flying squirrel. <laughs> Uh, so, I always begin, uh, you know, he is a professional wrestler, such as myself, me and him have wrestled so many times, uh, we actually had this running gag of to see who could out-potato who in a uh, match, I started it, I got the first blow in, mm-hmm. and then I got a lovely elbow from one of his good buddies, G.I. Mo, mm-hmm. or, yeah, G.I. Mo, mm-hmm. 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 That's, that's recycler, man. Yeah, the recycler. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, we'll get into that later. So, um, you know, you are a professional wrestler. Uh, where you, oh, first off, where were you born? Uh, Rollins, Wyoming. Okay, but you grew up in? Mostly Topeka. Mostly Topeka. Four years in Rollins and the next 16 in Topeka. Okay. Uh, so and- sad for me. <laughs> um, you um, are a professional wrestler, and uh, were you a f- uh, fan of pro wrestling growing up? And oh, what? yeah, for a long time, until until my brother went to the Navy, and then that four-year period, I kind of stopped, skipped the Attitude Era of WWE. Wow. I spent most of my time watching WCW. I still say it was better. <laughs> no. Uh, at least the Attitude Era. Yeah, during the whole NWO stuff. And oh, everything. the NWO was great. Yeah, until they kind of, you know, you had NWO, Blue and Green or blue something. And green. Yeah, <laughs> the Latino World Order. Ah, how dare you? Great. Latino World Order was awesome. I wanted one of those shirts. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and then I got back into it and uh, been a huge fan ever since. And, um, you know, everyone has a weird story. How did you manage to break into the wrestling business? Actually, kind of an interesting story. I decided one day that I wanted to try it, so I decided to research different places that taught you how to train, and I ordered a DVD set from the Powerhouse, Warehouse something, the uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. Oh, the Power Plant. Power Plant, yeah. So I ordered a DVD set from them, and me and my buddy Dale started trying to train and then my dad comes up to me one day and says you know i work with a guy who does professional wrestling <laughs> and he's starting up a company i can give you his number and i was like yeah <laughs> so i called him and he's like yeah we're uh, starting up a show it's gonna be february 10th uh, come up there and we can start your training and get you involved in the show and all that and i was all like hell yeah so ironically the show was so out in the boonies, it took us like an hour to find it. <laughs> we ended up getting there late. Oh! Uh, First day of training and you were late. Yeah. Uh, who were your trainers? Uh, Devin Scott, also Dog and Grace. Uh, King Kong Bundy J- Jr. Yeah. Uh, JC Thunder. I've also been trained by Tommy Snow, Deacon Kane, Enigma. <laughs> Biggie Smalls. Yeah. Biggie small. <laughs> Fuck me, flap, 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 flap. I had a training session with uh, Angel Medina, too. Oh, wow, the ECW yeah. Angel Medina? Okay. Yeah. I, uh, you always had to preface that with our little group because we have two angels. Right. Well, right. We have the cool angel, and then we have the, oh, 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 oh. And the angel who will kick you in the chest and then insist every clothesline hit you in the ribcage. <laughs> 
bang bang. <laughs> that was that was bad dang. Oh, oh, his clothes. He he can he can light you up. Yeah, it was a, it was a tag team match. <laughs> He drop kicked me right in the solar plexus, knocked the wind out of me, and then he and JC Thunder decided that everything would hit me right in the stern. <laughs> but the thing is with Angel, it was just like he didn't know where it was coming. JC saw it was like, oh, I'm hitting right there. He saw me go out of breath and he was like, oh, good, he has Morgan. <laughs> um, you you started off as a referee while you were starting your training. And Secu that security first. Actually. Security I first. Started security, then referee. Oh, ooh, upgrade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the pay upgrade? <laughs> I didn't have to wear as bad of shoes. <laughs> the shoes I wore for security, I couldn't stand in one place for long because they hurt. <laughs> so. Were they like boots or something? No, they were just Doc Martens. <laughs> I, I, I had wore Doc Martens for four years. It was fine. I ran in them. I did you know, gym and PE in them. And then uh, I wore them for security and I couldn't do it. <laughs> So, uh, and um, you you kind of broke in. There was two of you that I remember when I uh, we met in in uh, Whiplash in Mayetta, Kansas, on the res. And I came in, and I remember seeing you. It was you and Evan, 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 Evan Landis, Evan Landis, and I. I mean, no disrespect at all. You know, you had Evan Landis, who was about you know my height, but he's also got long hair, and he is cut like just chiseled and then you have Shane Shane's way tall and he's not in bad shape but and God bless you I, I, I've, I've heard the workouts you do but he had these love handles what do you mean had <laughs> I was trying to be nice yeah. I mean it, this is shoot style this isn't this isn't Logan Ricks <laughs> Logan Ricks would have been like <laughs> come on Bessie um so um and I remember when I looked at Evan and, you know, if I had to pick one of you two to, like, kind of be the breakout, I was like, it's going to be Evan, but, you know, Shane's not going to be too far behind, and, you know, that was about, what, three years ago now? Four. Four years ago now, and Evan is nowhere. I haven't heard from Evan in a long time. Off the map, almost completely. And now Shane is getting bookings in Nebraska. Nebraska? Have you worked in Nebraska? No, because they want blood tests, and they I couldn't get it in time. Okay. He's, he will be working in Nebraska. He's worked in Iowa. He's worked in Kansas. He worked in Oklahoma. and he in Colorado. Colorado. All over Kansas. Yeah, oh, all over Kansas, please. Yeah. He worked in more places than me, you dick. <laughs> Did you help Arkansas? Brother, I Arkansas. Show you Arkansas. prick. <laughs> Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. That's right, Illinois for Old Throttle Wrestling. You want to know who the owner? You want to know who the owners are, ladies and gentlemen? Go to the website. Look who the champions are. Yeah, uh, 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 kind of like OCW. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh. Bang. 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 <laughs> bang. So, um, you know, when we met, you know, I, you know, I was teaming with Tommy Snow. I was the second fiddle to the to the crazy train. And you know, we played off each other, and then the idea was broached that they were going to break us up. And they, everyone was like, they should turn Tommy heel, but no, we're going to turn Logan heel. They'll never buy Tommy heel, which I still maintain they would have. They would have. But anywho, I had to have a match as a badass heel to get me over. And who drew the short straw? This guy. And then there was this beautiful setup because I'd always wanted to have a hair versus hair match. And my match was, against Tommy was going to be hair versus hair. I was going to sacrifice my hair. I thought it'd be funny. But I had to do something to set it up. So I broached the subject to Shane. And I said, how about, would you let me cut your hair? And most people would be like, eh, eh. Shane's reaction was like, fuck yeah. Dude, fucking A. I, and, and I know you don't remember much of the match. Mm. Right here. Because we go for a Colin Noble tie-up. And I put you in the corner. I went for the punch, and he leaned into it just as I was getting ready to pull, and bam! And he just goes, Arr. I, I had to back into the corner to make sure I knew where I was. I got into the corner. I was, oh, good, I'm safe. Not for long, of course. Because <laughs> then I, I could have I could have mumbled very easily, You're okay. but I was like, no, they'll catch us. So I'll just kick, kick, go down, kick, go down, kick. Uh match lasted uh, less than a minute and um, 
Um, I got to debut my first finisher ever, the You Got Pwned. You know what? We'll take a break here. I'm going to slide it in, and here's the You Got Pwned. Holy crap, was that not badass, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um... You can thank Chris Saban for that one. Oh, you dick! You dick! Um, so... We, we get done with the match, and he gets to the back, and I'm like, I'm sorry about the punch. And he's all like, oh, it's okay. And Tommy goes, how was it? And he goes, fucking stiff. <laughs> so uh, fast forward a couple years. like We had had one more match since then, but I was under a hook. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was no, in the, was the tag the, tournament in Harveyville. Harveyville, <laughs> God, in the baseball field. Yeah. The yeah. dugout was our locker room. Yeah, that was awesome. And that's uh, that was my return punch, I think. Uh, no, you didn't really catch me. It was tre it was uh, Cowboy Trey Hansen that uh, he busted my ribs with that. I, I remember I went in for a punch and I went low. I punched like this, and you hit it and went down and thanked me properly later. Yeah, because it was, I, I I don't think it really caught me. But uh, fast forward like three years later, you know, I always kind of was interested in his career because I was like, you know what? I never would have guessed that he'd be this far this soon. Like, he's he's just amazing in the ring. Best suplexes I've seen on the Indies. I mean, well, not that great. I mean, that T-bone you gave me, you hooked me, and I was all like, okay, he's going to do the bounce set. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm, I'm flipping. <laughs> so, we have a match. Uh, you, you, your friend, gave a receipt for me. G.I. Mo mm. gave me a receipt. Yeah, his friend. Um, and we were doing this comedy routine where I'd yell at Ted Hunt, he'd have to a salute, and I would get him down. And he backs me up into the corner, and he gives me one elbow, and I was like, uh, and then he caught me with just the tip. And if you look at the video, you can see me like, ah! And so, we just kind of agree that we're even now, so now it's the great debate to see, you know, who's next? Who's going to be the next one? So, uh, but we are on our way to MWA, and me and you have had kind of like, you know, a great, like, revival in MWA. Revival's been really good to us, and, um, you know, me as a heel, you as a good guy, the cutie to baby face. Um, you know, do you, I, I know you've worked heel before. Which do you prefer to do? Do you prefer working the heel or as a baby face? Well, to be honest, it's, my whole life I've kind of been the nice guy. So it's really hard for me to personify being the bad guy, but I gotta say it's a lot of fun. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I, uh, I just went heel in Oklahoma, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, and I'm going for a title on the 19th. Yeah, what title? Uh, it's called the Caution title. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's like a hardcore title, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, well, congratulations on the title shot. Break it. Title matches. Well, yeah, I beat Alex the Great. Ref didn't see the photo on the rope until after the great count. Now he's the world champion. I get a title match now, but I'm not better. Fucking pricks. So, um, this has been uh, the next, newest episode of Logan Rick's Roadkill. Please don't forget to rate and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Uh, make sure to go back, check all my other videos, and follow the Vicious Concept on Twitter at Vicious Concept. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Vicious Concept and uh, take. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's copyright. That's copyright. Um, um, well, one last question because we. All, I always try to end this with a song. Uh, what is your favorite song? My favorite song. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Here we'll keep it to the theme. This is a wrestling episode. What's your favorite wrestling theme of all time? Wrestling theme. Yeah. Okay. Well, gotta be. It's. I have down to three because I'm very indecisive. Okay. The Four Horsemen theme. Okay. The Ultimate Warriors. <laughs> so I was a huge fan of his kid, Mark. And probably Road Warriors. Road Warriors? Okay, well, I'll leave it as a surprise. I'll try to pick, I'll decide between those three. And, uh, and again, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to do all the stuff I said below. And uh, happy motoring.